What's up guys, it's Oblivious Gamer here, and did we get the New Year surprise this time? And of course, uh, Happy New Year's to everyone. But let's talk about what happened in the main thing. So Melty Blood Type Lumina, or Type Moon, got an announcement, and they revealed another DLC character. And the second DLC character is none other than Aoko Aosaki. And holy shit, am I so happy for this my reaction when i saw this when i woke up in the morning was let's fucking go holy fuck you guys have no idea how much i've been waiting for this character to be in melty blood type lumina like since the game was announced i was like please aoko make it into the main roster make it into the main roster make it into the main roster please 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 and obviously she didn't make it and i was like ah oh, fuck okay i'll just play another character it's fine and then like when they announced, oh, we're going to get four DLC characters. I was like, please, let it be Aoko. Let it be Aoko, one of the characters. Obviously, the first one is um, Dead Apostle Noel. Of course, I was like, oh, character looks cool, but not Aoko. And the second character they announced is Aoko. And wow, am I so happy. Her trailer just looks amazing. I do want to apologize. Sorry if I yelled or <laughs> too high, but I'm just so happy. When you see the trailer, you just see obviously the beautiful feel that if you know, that's usually like that's portrayed where uh, Aoko met Shiki. And just looking at how fun she looks, I'm just like, I can't wait for her to come out and try her. She's one of my favorite characters in the original Melty Blood. And the way that she looks is so beautiful looking at her and like the sprites and the 2D animation that the game has. Now, of course, if you don't know who she is. The official website has a description where basically says one of only five magicians who exist in this world. She's successor to the fifth magician. Overall, she's not considered a skilled magician. However, when it comes to destructive power, she's unrivaled in her talents. The sight of her raining down bullets like hot geysers has also given her the direct yet rather tasteless nickname Magic Gunner. Who she learned it from is unknown, but she's also familiar with martial arts and has a battle style that could be considered a hybrid of those martial arts and magic. She encounters Shiki on her travels and she gives him his glasses that suppress his mystic eyes, teaches him the value of leaving things and how to handle things. Wow, two times using things. Going back. For that reason, Shiki respects her and calls her his teacher. She's a difficult person to pin down. She believes in justice, is unreliable, and a vagabond. So she's just constantly traveling and you never know where she is. Of course, let's talk about one of the main things and people saying she has no drip. And of course, I don't give a fuck. She looks fine. What's wrong with a white plain t-shirt and a pair of jeans? Come on, like you have never wore that. Please. There was a whole era, I remember, even Majin Obama did like a video where he showed like all these pictures of like people used to dress like that back in the era. So it's like, what's wrong? <laughs> But I'm just a little bit excited again, sorry. But looking at the trailer, again, there's so many of her moves, signature moves that you can see that have been translated pretty well, despite obviously the game having a bit of differences. You see her usual use of her magic, which is like, yes, this character looks all guns and blazing. She also, you know, you see some of her moves and of course, one of her signature finishers that I love. And this one, it just looks so amazing and so destructive. <laughs> Of course, as you guys know, I'm a huge fan of Melty Blood type Lumina and well, of course, Melty Blood. Not a professional player or, well, I consider myself a normal intermediate player, but I don't think I have the capacity to obviously tell you frame by frame or look at the character and be like, oh, this move is like negative three frames. Oh, look at this move. It has such a range. So of course, I will leave that to people who are better at it than I am. I'm just an average fan that just loves the game and the franchise. Now, we got more news. So apparently, from what I understand, they announced that both Dead Apostle Noel and Aoko will be available January 13th of 2022. And they're both going to be free download characters. It does. It is worded it weirdly. So it's like free download decision. But as far as it seems and I understand, it seems like both characters would be free to download. And of course, they all have going to have their respective stages. So this is amazing. Like the fact that like the game is out, it was not a full price game for rollback and they're giving you free DLC. Like Melty Blood Type Lumina is doing so many amazing things. I don't think many fighting games nowadays just give you 
free DLC characters later on down the line. Like most of the time we hear, oh, pre-order bonuses, or if you buy the battle pass or season pass, the, the first characters is going to be free, you know, something like that. So they're literally giving you two characters for free. So this is amazing news. Also, they released the dates. So here's the, I'm going to put the release date calendar if you're interested and the hours. Overall, I'm so excited. I'm very happy she's back. So guys, what are your thoughts on Naoko? And what characters do you want to see? Remember, we still have two slots. So who do you want to see next? Feel free to leave your thoughts down below. This has been Oblivious Gamer, and I hope you'll have a wonderful day or night, wherever you are.